Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about Pearson correlation, which is an important concept in statistics and data science. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more videos related to statistic, Lean Six Sigma and operation management. We frequently encounter numeric variables that seem to be related. For example, financial officers must predict future cash flows based on specified values of interest rates, raw material costs, salary increases, and so on. Forest scientists study the relationship between the volume of wood in a tree and the tree's diameter at a specified height and its taper. To examine the relationship between two numeric variables, look at the pattern of data points in a scatter plot. Calculate the correlation to measure the strength and direction of the relationship. What is Pearson correlation? Pearson correlation is used to examine the strength and direction of the linear relationship between two continuous variables. The correlation will not tell you whether the variables are related in a nonlinear function. In a linear relationship, the variables move in the same direction at a constant rate. What do the values of the correlation coefficient mean? The Pearson's correlation coefficient R, is used to measure the linear relationship between two variables. The Pearson's correlation coefficient has a few characteristics. Values of R range from negative 1 to positive 1. The larger the absolute value of the coefficient, the stronger the relationship between the variables. The strength of the relationship between X and Y is measured by how close the R is to plus 1 and minus 1. Values of negative 1 or positive 1 indicate perfect and strong correlation. Values close to 0 indicate weak correlation. The sign of the coefficient indicates the direction of the relationship. Negative values indicate an inverse relationship and positive values indicate a direct relationship. R and D, the slope of the regression line, have the same sign. Formula for the correlation coefficient is as below. The null hypothesis is R equals zero which means no correlation exists. On the other hand, the alternate hypothesis is R does not equal zero which means correlation exists. Let's look at an example. The number of pounds of steam used per month at a plant is thought to be related to the average monthly ambient temperature. The past year, S usages and temperatures follow. Calculate the correlation. Coefficient. When we believe one variable may influence another variable, we need to think about which variable is explaining the other. This will help us determine which variable to plot on which axis. The temperature may affect the number of pounds of steam used per month, but the number of pounds of steam used per month does not affect the temperature. In other words, the temperature helps to explain or predict the number of pounds of steam used per month. Therefore, temperature is called the explanatory variable or independent variable. We typically plot the explanatory variable on the horizontal axis. Alternatively, we can say that the number of pounds of steam changes based on the temperature. Therefore, the number of pounds of steam is called the response variable or dependent variable. The response is the variable we want to explain or understand. The response variable always goes on the vertical axis. How to find Pearson's correlation coefficients using Microsoft Excel. Use Pearson function syntax to calculate it and the result is 0.999933. Next, I am going to show you the steps of determining the scatter plot and Pearson's correlation coefficient using Minitab software. First, we create a scatter plot to evaluate the relationship between temperature and usage for 1000. A scatter plot is the first tool we use to evaluate these relationships. This tool enables us to see patterns in the data and helps guide further statistical analyses. 
the team can use correlation to quantify the strength and direction of the relationship. Choose graph, scatter plot. Choose simple, then click OK. Under Y variables, enter usage for 1000. Under X variables, enter temperature. The scatter plot shows a positive relationship with linear correlation. Next, we will determine the Pearson's correlation coefficient using Minitab. Choose Stat, Basic Statistics, Correlation. In Variables, enter Temperature Usage for 1000. Click Options. In Method, select Pearson Correlation. Click OK. In Statistics to Display on Plot, select Correlations and P-Values. Click OK and OK. In summary, the Pearson coefficient is 1.000. It indicates a positive relationship with strong correlation. The p-value is less than than alpha equals 0.05 and we are 95% confident that the correlation between temperature and number of pounds of steam used per month is strongly correlated. Consider the following points when you interpret the correlation coefficient. It is never appropriate to conclude that changes in one variable cause changes in another based on correlation alone. Only properly controlled experiments enable you to determine whether a relationship is causal. The Pearson correlation coefficient is very sensitive to extreme data values. A single value that is very different from the other values in a data set can greatly change the value of the coefficient. Repeat the analysis after removing data values that are associated with abnormal and measurement error. A low Pearson correlation coefficient does not mean that no relationship exists between the variables. The variables may have a nonlinear relationship. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.